This past week was Holocaust Remembrance Week. It's a time to honor the six million Jews killed in Hitler's genocide. And we end tonight in Berkeley, California, where Ben Tracy has a Holocaust survivor's inspiring story of forgiveness. Ben Stern is pretty active for a 95-year-old. But ever since his wife of more than 70 years went to a nursing home, the days have been long and lonely. So he decided to find a roommate. Do you want a coffee? Okay. He ended up with 31-year-old okay. Leah Heitfeld. Sometimes she cooks good meals. <laughs> what the scones? It's such a beautiful, unique experience to live with someone so much older than me. But their 64-year age gap yeah. is not even close to being the most unique thing about them. How did the two of you first talk about this? He knew I was a young German girl, and uh, he sat down, and the first thing he said is, Leah, I want you to know, your third generation, you're not responsible for what happened. Stern was a teenager in Poland when the Nazis rose to power. He lived in the Warsaw Ghetto and survived nine concentration camps, including Auschwitz. His family did not. I lost seven brothers and one sister. I lost my mother and my father. I carried that loss with me 24 hours a day. And so when these new roommates first got to know each other, it wasn't just the fact that she was German that had to be acknowledged. So my grandparents, my father's parents, were active Nazis. Um, Leah is not guilty about what her grandparents did. I'm still a reminder of that time and that he is capable to, um, to welcome me with such warmth has been something that really inspired me. And this granddaughter of two Nazis is now getting a master's in Jewish studies. If there's a God in heaven, he created angels. And when she came on the scene, I felt it is the perfect person to attach to my history, to make it complete. A history that has shown him the worst of what humans can do and the best in who we can be. <laughs> ben Tracy, CBS News, Berkeley, California.